Uh, Mr. Hawthorne signing on again with another Beyblade video. Uh, today's Beyblade will be the Ninja Salamander. Nice and red. Nice and red. Got a bit of blue in there. It's a balance type Beyblade. And, uh, can't really figure out what balance means. Uh, Ninja Salamander. Here we go. <clears throat> parts that are contained within this are the salamander warrior wheel the ninja element wheel the switch 145 spin track and the semi defense performance tip and as always we got instructions which we don't need and we got Couple bit blades. Now, okay. So, the special thing about this piece, huh? I just found something interesting about this. The Switch 145 um, has two parts to it. You have the part that gets switched around to decide whether it's attacking or defending, and the piece that it hooks into. Let me read off the Switch 145 uh, description really quick. Uh, the Switch 145 has three wings which can be removed and switched to have either defensive or offensive properties. It is switched by removing the performance tip. And pulling the wings down. Attack is the side with the triangular triangle shaped stickers, while defense is the other side. Although having a defense mode, this piece has too much recoil to be added to defense combos. But it has a use with high attackers, as if used correctly. It can be useful. One attack customization has this track can be used in the MF Lightning L Drago upper mode. Anyways, um, I think I will be having the attack side up for this and I think it just clicks in. Yeah, it just clicks in. Alright, as always, the tool is your most favorite thing and we got the performance tip performance tip is a semi defense which means it is a got a little nub on it that's a little bit more rounded but it does have a spike unlike the um not guardian leviathan where is it Unlike uh, Ronin Dragoon, which has the semi-flat, it is completely rounded. And as always, fits in nicely, right with the spin track. This has a very interesting metal wheel in the fact that it is quite... Uh, I was about to say quite symmetrical, but then I looked at it. It has a very nice stylized track attack wheel, as all of them do. Rather thin, more thin than a couple of the other ones. Nice and shiny, as always. Uh, that might not last too long. The elemental wheel, however, is extremely symmetrical. Yeah. Now, let me put this together really quick. And as always, in the anime and on the boxes, it has the metal wheel on the top side. And 
this isn't exactly fitting in the best. I don't know why. Hold on. Am I doing something wrong? No. It's just not fitting too well. Well, I think I ran into my first problem with the Beyblades. Um... Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Um, I'll put it together, see if that fixes it. I can imagine that it will, but... I don't understand why it's like that. Can't possibly be a design choice. It's a balance wheel. Oh, no, if... Uh, I don't agree with it. Um, did I put this in upside down? No. So what's going on here? Hold on. No, that's how it's supposed to go. I wish I wish I had another camera to show you guys what I was doing, but I don't. So. Now, as always, your tool's your best friend. Just get that nice and tight. And then do the same thing to the performance tip. And there we go. And this is Ninja Salamander. Nice red top. And there's still a space between it. I may have the wrong part for this. Hold on. No. What the hell then? Huh. Well. Um. I am completely and utterly confused why this is doing this. But, um, as you can see, there's kind of a gap between the two. I mean, yeah. Let's see if I can tighten this to the point where that gap goes away. I... This is the first one that this has done with this. It might just be because the Beyblade is set up that way. Although I highly, highly doubt that. Give me a second to fiddle with it really quick. I know this isn't that interesting, but I'm trying to figure things out, and... Nope. That's just how the Beyblade's set up. Hmm. <laughs> well... I guess that's one thing. All right, so, aside from that mix-up, or whatever this is, I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe it's just the one that I got? I don't know. Ninja Salamander. 
now let's go into some information so the uh, owner of this Beyblade is Shinobu Hiryuin brother to 8 Hiryuin if I remember correctly he is oh nope never mind I'm completely off uh, he's one of the main characters, the Invincible Salamander. Uh, he's a rival. All right. Um, the anime debut was the dawn of a new era. And the manga debut was in Beyblade Shogun Steel, Chapter 1. Hmm. Shows up early. Uh, yeah. So, here's the ripcord, nice and orange. And I still need to get the launcher out. It's nice uh, ocean blue, I guess. It's pretty nice. And let's see how this looks. Just gotta stick the recording. And then, there we go. There's the Beyblade on its ripple. Now, and as always, it has the little card thing for the online stuff. Uh, i probably do a video of the, that eventually. Um, so, yeah, Ninja Salamander, guys. Uh, if it's messed up for you guys, I don't know. It could just be how it's made. Eh. If I've made you smile during this video, good. If not, well, check out some other videos. Um, that's about it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Mm, if you did, go check out some others. If you didn't, go check out some others. Um, this is Mr. Hawthorne signing off with uh, Beyblades. Peace.